Welcome to another episode of Watercolor with Sunil Kalbandi. Uh, today I'm going to do uh, a harbor, a cityscape with boats. Uh, uh, there's a water element, there's buildings, and there's a bit of a sky. This is a classic, um, I would say. So uh, um, there's no photo reference. Um, I'm just trying to do a generic uh, split the Put the drawing into half sky and then that's the water and then I'm going to just do a little bit of um, buildings in the background um, we'll see how it goes and then a little more buildings um, so there's um, something on that nature um, so there's obviously that's the area of action so I'm just trying to make it a little more okay so um, that's a building uh, maybe I'm gonna add another building some stuff going on there's a little bit of tree and then maybe a little bit of tree on that side. So uh, this is a uh, way uh, because if we are thinking about a composition, so I'm going to add a boat, uh, maybe red color or and a few more boats. To cover the line so maybe i'm gonna add one boat in that direction so uh, one two three four five and the focus is on that area that should um, be enough in terms of uh, how I'm going to do it. And obviously there's a shadow element, there's a little bit of light, there's not much in terms of uh, drawing. I'm going to just um, add some details to the surface, but it's supposed to be a, a fun painting and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to just mix all the things to just to get a nice geek bit of a gray so this one obviously doesn't look like a gray but I'm gonna add a little bit of blue so maybe a little bit of turquoise okay this one is very loose I'm gonna just apply there that's a bit more dark I'm gonna lighten it and apply it so So I'm going to just try to make sure I'll keep the roof a little clean. That's about it. And then I'm going to add a little more blue. To cover this. So 
So that's my first wash. Okay, and a little more. Blues. Okay. Okay. A little more green in the background. I think a little bit of warmer tones. A little dark. Okay. Okay. And maybe Algerian red buildings. So a little bit of warmer tones. Okay. Okay, that's uh, my first wash. I'm going to just uh, dry it. Okay, so I'm going to just add a little more uh, texture. To that surface. Some sort of roughness. All right. So slightly smaller brush. Um, if I can find. Okay. So um, there was another smaller brush. All right. So a little bit more brush. Just to uh, add a little more detail to that area. So burn sienna and raw amber. A little bit of grey. So quite loose. So, uh, 
So let a yeah, there's some commotion going on. I don't know what it is, but that's all I need to do at this stage. Okay, so a little more, a little more warm, cooler tones. Some commotion going on, don't know what it is. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to add a little more details and maybe a little more um, color to the roof. The roof looks too wide. We'll just add a little bit of okay, and a little bit of shadow. Okay, then so I see a little more of uh, development what's going on in the background and uh, now add a little more oh that was a bit too dark. And a little more detail over here, not to forget. Okay, so now let's uh, get to the board itself. Nice red. Mm, a okay, 
Okay, so the next one, let's make it a different color. The color on the top, maybe this one has blue. Okay. Okay, and the last. Okay, now let's get to uh, the shadow and the other bit. So I'm going to do a little bit of green tint. Let's see, uh, maybe add a little more. So, mm, okay. We'll add a little red to it. Okay. Okay, I'll cut it to it, so I'm gonna just So, so the house somewhere here, so I need to work a little quickly so that the page sheet is still fairly wet. Okay, okay. so I'm gonna add a little red to where to drip a little more color and a little more blue black Little more black. Okay. okay, so I will let it settle down. Maybe I'll add a little more red. To make it a little stand out a little more. Okay, so that one is fine. Now all I have to do is use a, a rigger if I can find one. 
I always think about a small rigger. I'm going to start adding some of the mast and sails and all of the things. So make sure it's completely loaded and you just uh, go about um, So, there's a little more water to it. I'm going to make a little few more dry strokes. And a few more strings in the water. That's about um, what I want to do with that. Maybe there's a few a little more. Okay. So and that area looks too clean to me, so I'm going to just use a little bit of dry brush. Okay, and I'm going to try to do is uh, add a little more. Character. Could be anything. And maybe a little bit of A little bit of in the back. Um, I think uh, that I'm going to use a little bit of uh, white and then just add a little more highlights um, at random places. So that's 
most of the things. I might um, do a couple of scratches here and there. Oh, that's completely wet. Okay, so this is a, a nice urban environment, a harbor or a, a waterfront, uh, as long as you're trying to keep your focus on one particular thing, um, you, you can do some good ones. So I'm going to try to create a few more paintings just like this to give a little more composition. So my focus at the moment was to have a nice, uh, in this case, a red board which stands out in that particular composition area. So everything is a little more warmer colors and then I tend to have that focal point. So you don't need too many details as long as it's got the nice reflection falling through. Hopefully it will look uh, like a good um, seascape or uh, sorry, waterfront. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and help me out. Um, subscribe if you haven't and like that video. Every small video helps. So uh, let me just peel off the mask so we can see how it looks. Uh, for all the materials and uh, the pigments I use, I uh, go forward to the last slide. You can see the materials and the brushes that I use. I've been using. Uh, peel up a little more extra on the side. That's all right. Let me just check if it's focused on the camera. All right. Till next time. Keep watercoloring. Thanks. Bye.